أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. Why would you begin that when you recite the Quran? Because the Quran, you will go astray with the Quran if the devil is influencing you. You will go astray with the Quran if the devil is influencing you. Every sect in Islam went astray based on verses in the Quran that they misinterpreted. There is no sect in the history of Islam that didn't use the Quran as proofs for its deviation. And this is because shaitan, Ahmed Zarruq, in his qawaid says, no haqiqa, no reality comes into the world except it's met with its opposite. Some demonic opposite of that thing. So marriage comes into the world, it's met with zina. Clarity of mind comes into the world, it's met with confusion. And then he said, or if that doesn't work, then to pervert the reality and deviate the reality from its intended purpose. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuhalladina amanu, la tattabi'u khutuwaat shaitan or khatawaat shaitan. Don't follow the progress of shaitan. You see, shaitan will lead you by istidraj. He will take you step by step. This is the irbad, that you go shay'an fashayn. He doesn't come with all his khutth all at once. He comes slowly. I once asked my father, do you think people sign a devil's contract with a piece of paper? He said, no, it's a long series of negotiations. You compromise your values, like George Bernard Shaw, when he, uh, they say that he met a woman and he asked if she would go back to his hotel with him for a million quid, a million pound. And she said, yes. And then he said, what about 20 quid? And she slapped him and said, what kind of woman do you think I am? He said, we've already determined that. Now we're haggling. <laughs> Once you compromise your principles, then that, that's it. So you just do it slowly. The first time you don't take a bribe, but then you start thinking about it. Mm, I could use that money. Then the next time the bribe's offered, you take it. This is how it works. So Allah says, don't follow the khutawat shaitan وَمَنْ يَتِبِعْ خُطَوَاتِ الشَّيْطَانِ فَإِنَّهُ يَأْمُرُ بِالْفَحْشَاءِ He's commanding you to do foul things, munkari, and things that are naturally rejected by fitrah. Your fitrah rejects them. وَلَوْلَا فَطُرُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَتُهُ مَا زَكَ مِنْكُمْ and had it not been for Allah's grace and His mercy, there would none of you would have been purified. Because the purpose of your life on earth is taskiyah. If you follow shaitan, he will corrupt your heart. By rejecting shaitan, you're purifying your heart. And this is taskiyah. And this is our religion. On that day, nothing will avail the human being. No benefit except the one that comes with a pure heart, with a sound heart, with a wholesome heart. So this is what shaitan wants to do. Is, is do وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ يُزَكِّ مَنْ يَشَاءُ Allah does tazkiyah, purifies whom He pleases, but He purifies those who struggle. وَالَّذِينَ جَهَدُوا فِينَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبَلَنَا Allah will purify those who struggle. So you have to do work. The Prophet said, help me. One man said to him, Ya Rasulullah, intercede for me on the day of judgment. And he said, help me by doing a lot of sujood and give me some portion of your night to help me. In other words, you need, you're going to get into Jannah only by the grace of Allah, the Rahmah of Allah. But you also have to work. We believe in, in faith and deeds. We believe in faith and deeds. Even though iman is tasdiq, wa fusura al imanu bit tasdiqi. Iman is, is pure belief, and anyone who simply believes, even if they never did any good in their life, eventually will get out of the hell, according to the hadith in Sahih al Bukhari. But we believe in faith and deeds because faith has burhan. A sadaqatu burhan, charity is a proof of your faith, prayer is a proof of your faith.